Hey everybody, this is Joe from Paracord Reviews. Once again, I am so sorry. I haven't made some videos. I got a rush of belt orders, which led to this video. So um, today I'm going to talk about one of the most difficult tasks you can run into. In my case, I'm working on this belt right here. And as you can see, I've run out of cord. What do you do? We all know the Manny method is one of the best ways to join two pieces. But I'm not gonna undo all the work I've done to do the Manny method. So in this video today, it's gonna be a little bit of a break from the normal and it's gonna be a tutorial. How do you do difficult joinings? So I have my belt here, which you can see and I have the end piece. I also have cord of the exact same type right here. So here is how you join these two together using the Manny method. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip the tip, or cut the clip or the end of it so that I have the uh, sheath that I can use. I'm going to pull some of this out, probably about an inch worth, and I'm going to cut that. Not cooperating. Okay. So then I'm going to stretch it back. So that way, and you can see this is a brand new thing. That way I can get in to there. What I'm going to do is kind of a reverse for the first piece. I'm going to take my FID, which I already have connected up to the belt, I've uh, the end of the belt. I'm going to run it in and come out through this side. Now, I want to seal this so that it doesn't start to fray and fall apart. So what I'm going to do as I've shown you guys before, is I'm still going to melt it. So I'm going to melt the ends so that's good. And then I'm going to come through. So now I have this piece just like that. So you all with, you're with me here. So now what I'm going to do is undo my fid. I have the other end. I'm going to clip this I'm going to feed a little bit through stretch it back out So now I have the little bit of the sheath area, and now I'm going to undo all this cord, which I should have done ahead of time. Sorry. I'm going to pay for this later because I'm not going to. Um, I know I'm going to wind up untangling some massive tangles. Find the end. Note to self, if I was uh, truly prepared, I would have already untangled this. Oh, is this the end? Yes, this is the end. So I'm going to take the fid, the other end, I'm going to feed that through. And I am going to come through like I normally would. Seal that. Okay. 
good seal on it. That's a little short, so I'm going to come back, tamp this down a little bit. Then I'm just going to feed all of this through. And what I'm going to be able to do then is extend this belt out another 50 feet, or the, at least my available paracord and I'm not going to have to undo anything. So this is a great way of being able to extend out with not without having to use a melting technique or anything of that ilk. You can just go ahead and use the Manny method but do it in mid-project because there's nothing worse than coming up short. So now, if you really want to do it right, and you're not rushing like I am, you would measure this out and make sure. But, you know, if you've got a side project and you're trying to use leftovers, this is another method that you can even use this method to join multiple uh, spare pieces together if it's something where you're not necessarily worried about the strength and more worried about just having... A consistent color so whether it be a, just a decorative bracelet or something like that so as you can see done I now have another 50 feet to work towards my belt so thanks everybody I do have another video where I um, did a strength test so I'll be putting that up soon too but thanks again. Keep keep and uh, keep paracording.